Hey folks, how's it going? Today, the update banner for Sordo Convalera finally came through. Auguste says goodbye while we are blessed with the presence of Hasna. Thankfully, they also let us try her out in our very own character trial, so let's go see how she does and if she's going to be a worthwhile pickup. Her trait makes her immune to blind. I guess we could see this coming, but at the same time, I'm afraid that blind is only being applied by Homa so far. I haven't seen this debuff anywhere else, and Homa is not released yet. So she's countering a unit that should be coming out after her. Magic attack increased by 15%, she inflicts hidden fragrance on all enemies within 5 tiles around her at the end of their turn, so they need to move before they get the debuff. Lasts for 2 turns, enemies with hidden fragrance within 5 tiles have their attack and defense decreased by 15%, and the chance of being critically hit increased by 15. Hidden fragrance when attacked by Hasna suffers additional effects. So I'm afraid this extra 15% crit rate is going to be only for her. That's alright-ish, but would have been a bit better if this one was for the entire team. Basic attack, single target, 9% magical damage if she's adjacent to a target with hidden fragrance, and additional attack for 50% of her magical attack as physical damage, which is guaranteed to be a critical hit. 140% damage, that can go a lot higher with some nice crit damage gear. This might be pretty interesting. Reaction when hit by an active attack from someone with hidden fragrance, 30% damage decrease, it's alright. Per skill, penetrating, magic damage, single target attack, 140% damage, damage dealt is increased to 170 against enemies with hidden fragrance, and before attacking, increases crit rate and damage by another 15%. Okay, this one, <laughs> this one is really interesting. With the crit tarot, she can get up to 30% extra crit damage, damage that can still go further with some gear. Cost for energy though, which is a little bit much. At least the range is 1-3. Passive, at the start of the turn, if there are enemies with hidden fragrance within 4 tiles, she gains crit 2, 30%, increases range by one tile and allows moving two more tiles after landing a critical hit. Critical hit, which again, if she is close to someone, is going to be guaranteed. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Lastly, Scented Trace, after attacking, inflicts hidden fragrance on the target for two turns. When attacking enemies with hidden fragrance, she recovers two energy. When defeating enemies with hidden fragrance, additionally recovers 40% HP for the character. So despite this costing 4, she can kill someone and get 2 energy back. And she also has some self-healing, which is never a negative. I do like the extra range, even though it's conditional. She's not close, so she's not going to deal the second damage instance. And this is the fragrance procking on the enemies. Uh, should be able to one-shot this one. 7,000 damage, not bad. Ten thousand and damage. And the animation looks quite neat as well. I guess from here we should be able to see the second damage instance. <laughs> Unless the enemy dies first. And penetrating once again. Almost 9000 damage base. Plus crit and crit damage. 13k. Yeah, that's actually not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Also, really, really like the fact that she has an incense burner as a weapon. That's the second damage hit. An extra 2k damage on top of the over 4000 that she hit for. Yeah, the extra range is actually going to help quite a bit. Hey. 
she looks hot as hell. I don't think anyone can dispute that. But this is also at 5 stars. Initial attributes, only 8% attack and defense down, only 3% magic attack up, and the tiles for the hidden fragrance are reduced to 3. Best part is that the 15% crit rate doesn't go anywhere. This is base at 1 star. The nerf range and the nerf to attack and defense, which only goes down to 8%, not that great to see. Like, even at 5 stars, the 15% defense and attack debuff only manages to deny half of a devil stack. It feels a little bit light. Her damage seemed fine, her range was great, the self heal also really really nice, but at the same time she's a blue unit, she's an assassin and if you manage to get Cole, I'm pretty sure Cole is still going to work a lot better, both damage wise as well as survival wise because once she gets act again, she can kill a second unit. You don't have to worry about the damage of a second full unit. And a similar discourse goes for Safia. Safia has survivability under the form of dodge. She has a long range skill that also summons a bait unit, which helps with survivability <laughs> once again. And she can take down enemies three range away from her. So at least when it comes to Hasna, I sadly don't see that big of a case for pulling for her, outside the fact that she looks really damn hot. Another bit of a negative aspect is going to come 15 days from now, because that is where Homa should be released, and she's going to be one hell of a great support. So I'm afraid Hasna here is going to be a really, really safe skip. Alright then, I guess that's going to be it for me for the moment. I guess next up we have the extra event mode for Shadow Calamity, so maybe I'll see you guys then. As always, thanks a lot for watching, good luck with your pools if you want to go for the Hot Assassin, and see you guys around soon. Ciao!